Hi, I'm Rhiannon from the Epsom Bakehouse and today I'd like to show you three different ways to shape your dough to make bread rolls. If you've been enjoying these bread making tips, you can download my five top bread making tips to help you start baking great bread at home. I'll let you know more about how to do that at the end of this video. So today I'm going to be talking about shaping your dough for bread rolls. And I just thought because I talk a lot about baking loaves on these bread making tips, but actually when I'm at home, I do like to bake rolls. They're really quick and convenient. And also you can freeze them. So I make um, a batch or several batches at once, and then I can pop them all in the freezer and get them out as and when I need them. Like all bread, bread rolls freeze really well. So it's a great way to stock up if you get through a lot of bread. So today I'm gonna to give you three different shapes and I'll be showing you those in a minute. And we'll be talking about the traditional round shape of bread roll. We'll also do a four strand plait. Don't worry, it's a lot less complicated than it sounds. And we'll do a knotted roll. And all of these give a really great shape, which is simple to make, but really effective. So firstly, to shape a normal round bread roll, take a piece of dough that's about 70 to 100 grams in weight and pat it down. And then you're going to go all the way around the outside, stretching and pushing into the middle. So really stretch the sides out, but not until they break. Don't break them. All the way around into the middle. And once you've gone all the way around, turn over and cup your little fingers under the edge. And then to finish tightening the shape, you're going to roll the ball of dough between your thumb and your little finger and you're not turning it over you've got the same side on the bench rolling it round and round so i'm passing it between my thumb and my little finger and push down and there you have a smooth bread roll to make a plaited shape Take a piece of dough that's about 100 grams in weight and divide it into four. Then you'll take each piece and begin to form it into a sausage. And by doing that, press down with your little fingers and roll outwards. And once you have three or four strands of dough, fix them together at one end and then plait. Go one over three, two over three, and four over two. the edges in at the end and to make a knot roll shape again take a roll of dough approximately 70 to 100 grams in weight and roll out into a long sausage so it probably be about 30 centimeters long and you might find as you're rolling that the gluten in the dough resists so you might have to leave it to rest and come back to it. But use the whole the weight of your hands, pushing outwards to roll up out your dough. So about 30 centimeters. And simply tie in a knot. And tuck the ends underneath. So I hope you enjoyed those three different ways to shape your bread dough into rolls. Do let me know if you had a go at making any of those shapes and how they turned out. I love to see what you guys bake. As I mentioned, if you're looking to start baking great bread at home, you can download my top five bread making tips. I'll put a link in the comments how to do that, or you can just go directly to my website, www.theepsonbakehouse.co.uk. And if you've got a bread making question that you'd like answered, Put it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it in a future 
bread making tip. Otherwise, I'll say bye for now and happy baking.